Hello everybody. Today I got a request from a customer wanting to know how to do a very simple seascape. I'm gonna try and make a simple seascape that anyone could paint. Uh, I got some yellow masking tape to keep the horizon straight and uh, let's see what we come up with and let's get started. First I'm going to put some titanium white, or expect some titanium white on the brush. Of course this is a 2 inch brush we're using in the Bob Ross technique. First thing we're going to do is just make some simple clouds. So it's going to come right up in here. And we're just going to just just tap some simple clouds. All you do, let me zoom in, is you just tap wherever you want them. I think I'll make a little, kind of like a little cloudy night. So I'm, what I'm doing is just going in and tapping. Hitting the canvas, just like that. Okay, the next thing we'll blend that out. Okay, to blend these out, it's simple. You just either you could go like that and swirl and make circular motions like that. But in this case, I'm just going to go across. Just take the brush and just go get my hand out of the way. Just like that, back and forth. Across. Let me step back. And you got a little simple clouds, that easy. Next, uh, I'll add some more clouds down here. I'm going to take my fan brush. This is a, I forgot the size of the fan brush it is, but I'm going to load the brush just like this. And here's another way with the fan brush to make some clouds. I'm just going to go making like rocking motions just like that like and you can put these anywhere you like it doesn't matter dog barking in the background and next we're just gonna blend those out I just added some more clouds off camera next we're gonna peel off the tape and start working on our wave patterns. I got a filbert brush here. We'll go back into some white. We're gonna put in our first major wave. So well, here's a basic wave. You just gotta know where you want to put it. Maybe it's gonna come right here. So you just go up and it's going to come up and it's going to come down that's when the wave's going to crash over then it's going to continue to go right over here and all you do is just draw it in just like this and if you want you can put another one right over in here all you do is just just draw them in wherever you like to put them. And maybe there's one right over in here. If you get lost, you could just go back and look at it again. 
Okay, there's our wave patterns, our waves. Next, well, let me put this in for you, make it easier. As the wave's gonna crash over like that. Let's add a little extra reference, there you go. The wave's gonna crash over like that. And next, we're gonna start forming it. I'm gonna take my fan brush, and this is more to titanium white, again, our expensive paint. On this wave, what you gotta do, see how it makes strokes just like this, rocking strokes, just like it did we did the clouds. I'm just going, maybe moving the brush like this. This fan brush is not the best, but it'll work. Remember, I'm making strokes and it's like that. And on this one, we want to come and pull across just like that. And on this one as well. And on this one as well. Come across right here. It looks like nice water already. Remember, on this far away wave, make strokes like this, rocking strokes. Then, on your second wave, or how many waves you got, just pull across, zoom in like that. And next, we're going to start forming foam and everything else dealing with the wave. Next we're going to come right up in here and we're just going to pull this back. Pull this back. Let's see if I can get the zoom in on that. See how it's just starting to look like what, all kinds of actions happening and then on this side this wave right here in the back you're going to do the same thing just pull back leave some um, dark in here for some shadows I'm making a stroke like this Pull all that back. Step back, see what I got. Looks pretty nice. Let's continue. Gonna take my fil filber brush, excuse me, and some this cad yellow and some, some white. We're gonna start forming the eye of the wave. So that's cad yellow and white. Come up in here. And we're just gonna do a little something like this. Go in and work it out. You can make it bright as you want. I think I will do that. Add some more titanium white. Come right up in here. It should get darker as it goes out, but if it doesn't, you could just darken the color, some dark black or brown. And there's our eye of the wave, and next, um, next, we're going to smoothen that out. I want to go back and show you what strokes I'm making. Making circular strokes. And working out just like that. Next, I'm going to take a, our two inch brush. 
come right up in here and I'm just going to go something like that. So that way I can soften it. And use the top bristles of the brush in this. Keep turning that brush until it's soft and soft. You can make it soft as you like. Step back, and that's what we got. Off camera, I'm going to fix this little area right up in here. Make that pop out again. Next, we're going to make this crash over. So we're going to come from right over in here. And I'm just going to try that again. Let's go over just like that. See how it's just crashing over? Making strokes of coal go up and come down. Pretty easy. And all you do is just come right here and just pull down, come right here, pull down, pull down, and pull down. Okay, let's continue. I took some Prussian blue on the filbert brush. And we're going to go in here and just make some shadows for the foam. Something like that. Okay, next we're going to highlight that, highlight the foam, but I'm going to show you, this makes strokes, just like this round for the shadow, just like that, just like this, you can make them soft, round, I'm going to take some titanium white on the filbert brush. On the top of the shadow, on the top top, we're just going to highlight that. And round strokes again. If your brush gets dirty, just wipe it off and reload your paint. I'm just going to reload my paint. The foam just probably just, and just goes away just like that. Next we'll soften all that, make it even softer. But our wave is coming along pretty good. We're going to take our 2 inch brush and we're just going to soften that foam. You can soften it till it's very smooth. See how is this see how that's just making it very soft and smooth? It's a pretty cool effect. Let me step back. 
we got a nice looking wave. Next we'll, I should have done this before, probably make like a little, like a little island over here or something. Let's see what we come up with. I added some brown to the filbert brush. I'm going to go right up in here, make a little, let's see if you can see that, it's kind of dark. Make a little cliff or a little rock that's, or a little cliff that's way in the back. It's going to fill it in with the filbert brush. And it's in the distance, you can't see it. <clears throat> Right there. I'm just going to push some water that's splashing up against it. Took my filbert brush and put some more white on it. It's going to go right up in here and just make some little splashes off that little cliff way in the back or island. And step back and we got something like that so far. Let's continue. I'm going to take my filbur brush into some titanium white and we're going to make some foam patterns in the seascape. It's going to go right up in here. And we're just going to make strokes just like this. Look at this one. Wiggle the brush and Jiggle it, wiggle it, and jiggle it. <laughs> however you, however you like. And yeah, I was trying to make this seascape that anyone could paint it on their first try. Like I said, I got this requ request from a friend saying how. Can they do a seascape, a simple seascape, without all the hassle? I hope this helps. And we got something simple like that. Next we'll add some even more detail with the script liner brush. took my script liner and um, thinned it down with some thin oil or paint thinner. Take some of this blue. I'm going to start adding little details. Just like, just like so. And come all down right in here. You could do all kinds of details. You could just Sit here and paint this the seascape and put all kinds of detail and it'll be very effective if you're trying to sell. See look at all those little details and nice little details. You could just come right up in here and just make some strokes like that. All kinds of little things you could do. And I'm just, all I'm doing is making, wiggling the brush and making strokes just like this. Maybe there's some over here. All kinds of things you could do. Step back and that looks very nice. I'm gonna continue to add some more little details. And we're almost done with this. Next I'm just gonna soften this and pull this down. 
Okay, let's soften this and I'm just going across the with the two inch brush and just soften it. And I'm just gonna pull the brush down just like this. Very soft. And just so go across the whole thing. Step back. It looks very nice. Next, I'm going to sign this and it's going to be a completed painting. I'm going to come right up in here and just put my initials. Step back. A very nice, simple little seascape that you could do. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you uh, try a seascape and hopefully you'll have success with it. Um, of course this one will be on eBay for auction for sale and I hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful evening bye bye